Hi guys. Pastor Preston is my name. I want to ask a simple question. Who gives birth to a child and brings them to a world, uh, to a system, and gives them conditions that are totally uh, unachievable? Who does that? Like, what, what I mean is, do you give birth to a child? Or if you have a child, you have them living with you, and then you begin to give them laws and rules that you think uh, they cannot easily keep. Nobody does that, except you're a wicked person. If you're full of love, you don't do a thing like that. In John, John said, God is love, right? If he said God is love, that tells us that God is, is everything that love reveals. So why will you think that God gives us a Christianity that is not practicable, like that we cannot do it, that we get a struggle, we get a suffer? Why do you think so, right? I, I remember what John said. He says the commandments are not grievous. I also remember what Paul said. Paul said, the word of God to me, they're not grievous, and to you, they're safe. Right? So that means everything that you saw in the word of God, they're easy for us to manifest. But the problem is, is because you really don't understand the approach. Jesus says, I'm the end to the law. Right? Of course, and that means the new, the, the new creation, as a matter of fact, is born upon the finished work of Christ. Watch the term. We call it finished work. That means there's no longer a work. Jesus said on the cross, he said, it is finished. It is finished, right? Think about that. So in other words, what do we do in Christianity? We don't walk anymore. We are just to produce what has been done in Christ by our focus on God. Remember, Hebrews chapter number 12, verse number 2 says, looking unto Jesus, the finisher, the author and the finisher of our faith. So what we do, we look unto him and then we just produce his life. What about 2 Corinthians chapter number 3, 17 and 18? What did he say? He said, we look into the mirror and we are changed. As we look into the mirror, we are changed. Simple and clear. What about uh, James chapter number 1, 22 and to 25? He begins to express the same thing. He says, as we look and we continue in what we're looking, 25 to be precise, right? It says, uh, we become a doer of the work. And then it says, that man will be blessed in his deed. So why does it seem like Christianity is hard? I'll tell you. It's because you trust your strength more than the provision of grace. Because you trust in yourself above the love of God, which is the grace of Christ. Yeah, that's why. The reason why you can't change that character is because you're afraid that if you lose that character, you may just fall or you may not just uh, look like yourself anymore. So you trust in your energy. You trust in your strength, right? People who are not changing from themselves are people who trust themselves more than Christ. I say that again. It's people who put their strength in their self more than Christ. If you would just give up, just give yourself to Christ, it would be interesting. But one thought is coming and say, what if I give myself? It doesn't work. What if I fall? What if it doesn't work like I think and all that? Seven times a righteous man will fall, he will rise again. Again, it is better to try to get it right and fall and continue and start working like a little child will do than an adult who is trying to keep himself within the, the, the comfortable space where he is and then of that strength he is not getting God. He's missing God totally. Remember, Jesus said to them in Matthew chapter number 18, he says, when he asked who is the greatest, he says this child. And then he showed them in the, in the Amplified Classic, he says someone who is lowly, loving, forgiven, right? Low, lowly, loving, forgiven, right? And one more... Uh, uh, in the character of a child. What, what, what do you find very common with a child? They're quick to trust. They continue to try. They never give up. You see, he's trying to work. He stands up. He doesn't work and he continues to work. Glory to God, somebody. So if you will learn to trust God today, if you will learn to trust Christ, if you will learn to trust in the strength of God that worketh in your nature, that worketh within you, glory to God, somebody, you just find that you're getting God so easily. Hallelujah. Listen to me and I want to get this very clear. Right? Christianity is not for the strong. Christianity does not work against the weak. Everybody can do Christianity. Everybody can walk in the Word. If you will just focus on the Word of God above how you focus on yourself, above how you continue to dispense the programming and the structure to which you've been raised, right? You'll be amazed how you'll be easy to just do the Word of God and just find your life manifested, right? Like John said, the commandments are not grievous. Paul said, the Word of God is safe to you. Glory to God. We all can do it. Just take yourself away from the programming of this natural world and just trust God. Look unto Jesus. You will just find him doing the work through you. Glory to God, somebody. Hallelujah. It's not a hard job. Yeah, right? If God loves us so much, it's important that you understand that he's going to make provisions for us how we can so easily. And that condition is in Christ. Glory to God, somebody. So he gave us Christ that we may be able to be his son, to live with him, to love him, to walk his character in this earth. Christianity is not impossible. As a matter of fact, let me tell you this. 
Every time that you find it so hard, every time that you find yourself manifesting like your biological parents or by the society that you're raised, it's just showing you a man who is strong in himself, a man who is stuck in the way he's been raised, a man, a spiritual man who have refused to divorce naturalness and has chosen the course of being natural instead of the course of the way of the Spirit of God. Yes, that's the truth. And as long as you continue like that, you cannot get God. You cannot pleasure God. The Bible says, something very profound and, and very strong. It says, uh, without faith, a man cannot please God. And what is faith? It says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The same word to which we've been born. Because in Romans 12, it tells us that everyone has been given a measure of faith. So all that we need to walk in the faith that has been provided for. Glory to God, somebody. Hallelujah. I hope this brings you a lot of blessing. Just keep looking on to Jesus. And then you'll just be shocked how you'll be transformed. We look and we are changed. We look and we are changed. Don't look on something else. Don't get distracted by other things. Just look on Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter number 5. He says, if any man being Christ is a new creature, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Behold, all things have become new. So as we behold, all things become new. But once we stop beholding things to become new and we keep beholding where we're coming from, things will remain the same. So you'll be a Christian, you'll still be dispensing your old past and you'll not be advancing, you'll not be making progress in Christ. Think about this. That's my message and I believe it blesses you a lot. Thank you for listening. God bless you. I'll see you again next time. Amen.